Elite Facts presents. Do you have an intelligent mind? Seven things intelligent people will refuse to do. Seven. Sacrifice the health of others to their goals. Now we've all got goals in life. It's what drives us and gives us purpose. Whether it's personal goals or career goals, we've all got them. In some cases, we'll do anything in order to reach them as soon as humanly possible. But is that really the smartest thing to do? Now, hear us out here. If you reach your life goals early in life, then great. But if reaching those goals comes at the risk of your health, is it really worth it? To intelligent people, it's not. Okay, so here's an example for you: mountain climbers. So, to most climbers, climbing to the summit of Mount Everest is considered the pinnacle of anyone's mountain climbing career. But in most cases, people will only go so far before turning around and climbing down. Now, while this sounds like someone quitting because they've either gotten lazy or too scared, the reality is that the person climbing has come to the realization that by going any further could be detrimental to their health. Well, climbing a mountain in the first place is already detrimental to your health, but you get what we mean. This isn't them being a coward. This is them being smart enough to know when enough is enough. Same can be said for things like working overtime at work or putting off doctor's appointments because you've got other important matters to be attending to. They have their priorities straight: health before work and goals. Six. Be manipulated by friends and family. Now it's difficult to know when you're being manipulated by those closest to you. I mean, unless you have trust issues, it's a difficult thing to pinpoint with both friends and family. However, intelligent people know better, as they can easily sense whenever they're being manipulated. Most people give their friends and family too much slack. If the people close to you are manipulating you or subtly attacking your dreams, nip it in the bud before it even has a chance to get out of hand. Draw a line in the sand and make them choose between supporting you or taking a hike. It sounds harsh, but hey, if you know you're being used, don't take it. Five. Never pull an all-nighter. Let's be honest. If you're passionate about your work or even your hobby, you're gonna put overtime into it. This is more apparent with those who have taken up an occupation in the creative industry. They'll spend countless hours into the night working on a project just to make sure that it's perfect. Now, this isn't exactly a bad thing, but most intelligent individuals who strive at their jobs tend to go to sleep earlier. The results of a famous longevity study that tracked 1,500 people for almost 100 years found that sacrificing work-life balance to accomplish goals and live up to one's potential helped individuals live longer. Yes, you heard that right. People who lived part of their life way out of balance to achieve something important lived longer than people who lived well-balanced lives. Four. Refuse to focus on the negative. Negativity isn't the only thing to take into consideration when something goes wrong. Sure, the situation sucks, but you've always got to look at the positives. If you don't, the negatives will be eating away at you. Intelligent people know this, thus are always looking for positives in a bad situation. A recent scientific study discussed in the Happiness Advantage proved that doctors who are put in a positive mood before making a diagnosis consistently experience significant boosts to their intellectual capabilities than doctors in neutral or negative states of mind, which allows them to make accurate diagnoses nearly 20% quicker. Not only was this found effective with doctors, this was also tested on people of other professions and found that positive, cheerful salespeople outsell their negative, cynical counterparts by over 50%. So yeah, as it turns out, our brains naturally perform at their best when negative thoughts aren't on the mind or even neutral ones, but when they are thinking positively. Three. Eat gluten. Okay, this is a strange one. We know. But there is a reason why those with higher intelligence refuse to eat gluten products. Gluten is a substance present in cereal grains, particularly wheat, that is responsible for the elastic texture of dough. A recent study conducted showed that 30,000 patients who consumed gluten products resulted in a 39% increased risk of death in those with celiac disease, 72% increased risk in those with gut inflammation related to gluten, and 35% increased risk in those with gluten sensitivity but no celiac disease. Two. Follow the rules. 
Now, you'd probably think that anyone with half a brain would know that following the rules would lead to a life of success. In the working world, if you broke the law, then you're just an idiot. Well, for most intelligent people, they'll end up breaking the rules so that their job and life suits them, but so that they can be more productive as well. Hell, some people end up breaking the rules just so they can get a job. Take legendary film director Steven Spielberg, for example. After high school, Spielberg got his start in the film industry by sneaking into Universal Studios, commandeering an unoccupied office, and introducing himself as a producer on movie sets. And look where he is now. He's one of the biggest names in Hollywood today, with several box office smash hits under his belt. So in a way, bending the rules in order to become more productive can help you drastically and can show that you have initiative. 1. Refuse to wait around Once again, delving into examples regarding intelligent famous people, Stephen King once said that, quote, Amateurs sit and wait for inspiration. The rest of us just get up and go to work. This quote alone speaks volumes. When it comes to success, there are two different types of people. People who wait around for success to come, which is like a 50-50 chance of it ever happening, so you'd need to be stupid lucky for that to happen to you. Or you could be a hard-working go-getter. Obviously, if you're intelligent, you'll know that the latter option is the one to go for. While proper planning, strategizing, and masterminding is important as you begin a new project, it's also extremely easy to lose yourself indefinitely in the aforementioned. By actually putting in the effort, it also helps by showing you your true strengths and weaknesses in the work field and how you can improve on them. By not trying, you only know your strengths, thus not learning how to really refine your skills. The minute you start taking action, you begin getting valuable feedback that ultimately helps you refine your original idea so you can move forward with a more informed and educated outlook. And that's our list. Did we leave any out that you know about? Let us know in the comments section below. Please remember to subscribe and tap the bell button to be notified when new videos are uploaded. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like us and subscribe for more Elite Facts.